Hey guys, it's Nick here, and um, once again, I am vlogging in my onesie, or a various onesie, which is probably not the best, but um, I suppose the thing is that I just wanted to make this video, like, right now, while it was on my mind, and I don't even know if it's going to get posted, but I just feel like there are things I need to say. And whether I decide that I want to say them to people or whether I just want them to be here as they are, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, so today I've been in a in a strange mood, I think. I mean, I was talking to a lot of people at my creative writing group today about being at uni and I had an appointment with some of my, well, my consultant and some other people about um, sort of an appointment that I have annually once a year and we you know talk about progress and things and they always ask how life is since graduation and how life is and am I have I got a job am I any more closer to getting a job because I graduated from uni two and a half years ago now almost and um since then I have excuse me I've got a really God, bad itch. Since then, I have, um, I've had a paid internship, which I absolutely loved, and I've had the odd bit of freelance work here and there, but, um, apart from that, I haven't really, sort of, had a job, and part of me sometimes feels like this means that something's going wrong somewhere, and it's really hard for me to sort of see that I am still applying for jobs and I am still trying and you know I won't give up but part of me always feels and I know it's hard for a lot of people but part of me always feels just that little bit like a failure and I mean some of it may be down to the antidepressants that I'm on for the low mood and the anxiety and the OCD type behaviours which I've alluded to in previous videos and maybe I am a bit down today because it's always a pretty rubbish time of year for my family at this time of year but um I don't know I just today I've been feeling reminiscent and looking at old photos of being at uni and talking to members of my creative writing group about things that I did at uni and talking to some of my old friends from uni that I haven't spoken to for a while and it sort of eventually hit me that when I really sat down and thought about it I may not have managed to land full-time employment yet not for the want of trying, but I've set up a blog I, that I update, try and update three times a week. I've started vlogging on this YouTube channel, vlogging about my life. I have started work on two novels, one of which is on the second draft, my supernatural detective story, and I've actually handed it off to somebody to do some beta reading for me this week. And that's massively scary. And yet somehow... I feel like it's a massive achievement, even though it's nowhere near ready sending to a publisher. It's, it's nowhere near ready for sort of the general populace to read it. But, you know, it's ready to be, you know, I'm, I'm starting to share it with beta readers. I've joined a writing group. You know, I've been to my first Comic Con. I've been to London for the first time. I've been to Edinburgh for the first time. I've done all these things in the last two and a half years since I graduated from uni. And yeah, I haven't had the job that I would love. I haven't, you know, landed full-time employment. It's not all been plain sailing, but I have been living my life, and I've been living my life, I think, pretty darn fully. I mean, yeah, some of it's been pretty rocky, and there was a while where, you know, things got really tough, especially last year before I, you know, sought help from the doctor to sort of dig myself out of the low mood, and it has, you know, it's got to me and you know it's it's been really hard but at the same time today is the day that I've actually been able to sit down and say to myself do you know what I am living I am living life and I may not have the dream job the job that I went to uni to try and equip the skills to get I'll get it one day I will but I have lived and had so many life experiences in this past few years and I don't think it should all be about what we do for a living or what we achieve in an academic and a workplace sense because sometimes just doing the things that you want to do is important you know like like just I want to be an author so I'm sitting here writing it's not getting me any income at the moment but that doesn't mean it won't 
one day and I don't do it for the income I do it because I love to write and if that's my job one day then I'll be really happy and I make these videos for you guys because I love it and I write this blog for you guys because I love it and yeah you know I'm, I might not have you know I might not hold some fancy job title somewhere but I've actually sort of grabbed life a lot more in the last two and a half years um, since I graduated than I thought I was gonna and actually do you know what I'm pretty darn proud of that because a couple of years ago I would never have dreamed of going to London the idea of Edinburgh would have seemed really hard and too far away and I always wanted to go to Comic Con but I thought I would never probably go and I'm so grateful that I've done all these things I've been watching YouTubers for ages and thinking I want to do that it looks like fun but why would anybody watch my videos and then I just started doing it and now I love it and it's one of my favourite things and that's why I've rented on at you for nearly six minutes of your time. But you know what, today I feel proud and today I am happy that I have achieved these things and yes I'm sitting here and I'm vlogging in my pyjamas but I don't care because I am proud of everything that I have achieved over the last two and a half years. And you know what, I'm sure I'm going to go on and achieve more and I'm feeling so positive right now. Um, which I wasn't at the start of this morning. This has been a huge, huge journey for me today and I am so pleased. And so yeah, I just wanted to make this video because if you're in the same position as me or you know somebody who is and they're trying to find a job, it's and it can get you down and it's not all about that. It's not all about the things we achieve on paper, in exams, in the way it's about, you know, us doing what we want to do with our lives and embracing life and today I feel proud that I am doing that and I want you to feel proud that you are doing it too and if you're not doing it to the point that you want to do it go out there and start doing it because do you know what you'll be doing it and it, you'll feel better and that will feel like an achievement to you in its own way so yes I've talked to you for seven minutes now I think that's more than enough of your time that I've taken up today but if you did like this video or you agree hit subscribe tell me uh, and like yep Tell me about all the things that you've done, that you've loved in life. Just just do it. Just tell me in the comments down below. Come and find me in any of the links. Come and, you know, have a chat. Join in and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.